limit extends to pi by 2 secant x minus tan x so secant pi by 2 is not defined and tan pi by 2 is also not defined so let us rewrite this as secant x we can add 1 upon cos x minus tan x is sin x by cos x so which can be written as limit extends to pi by 2 1 minus sin x upon cos x now upon substituting x is equal to pi by 2 you are getting 1 minus sin pi by 2 is 1 upon cos pi by 2 is 0 so it is 0 by 0 form So when it is 0 by 0 form, we can apply L hospitality rule. So let's differentiate numerator and denominator separately. So limit extends to pi by 2. Differentiation of 1 is 0. And differentiation of sin x is cos x upon cos x differentiation is minus sin x so which is limit extends to pi by 2 cos x upon sin x so which is cot x as extends to pi by 2 cot x is nothing but 0 or we can write cos pi by 2 is cos pi by 2 is 0 divided by sin pi by 2 is 1 0 by 1 is a defined form which is 0. So we can give the answer option D.